I've always had a passion for educating young people. Uh, right from age 16 myself, I've, I've given back to the community as a STEM ambassador. But it's became increasingly obvious that lots of students are, are anxious about the climate, they're hearing things on the news. And so more and more, I decided to incorporate that within my STEM learning. And, um, and it's gone down really well, so I decided to set up Primary Voices. The students of all ages and adults as well see things on the news and it's very hard to put it into context. It's a big problem that adults can't get a grasp of so how are you expected uh, a young person to? Um, so I found a way to, to speak to them to actually help put it into context and balance. The really important thing is to balance action with, um, with hope and because if we lose hope nothing will happen and so yeah that's the reason I set it up. Listening to, to children is something that actually few people do and, and getting them to, to tell you how they feel is really really important because if not they're going to bottle it up and we know that bottling things up doesn't do anybody any good. Um, so I get them to express their fears to say how it makes them feel and it normally sits into three things. They normally feel sad, it's normally some, about something specific, polar bears or something like that. They feel uh, bad, they feel that could be anxious, worried and they feel mad and often they feel mad at other people but the really educated ones actually say well I'm mad at myself um, because so then we talk about the fact that it's no point being mad at yourself you're part of the problem I'm part of the problem let's acknowledge the problem and then say well all of them things being sad mad and bad will actually be helped by doing action yourself by being part of the solution rather than the problem and then I get them to be really excited about doing whatever actions they can do themselves because it will vary person on person and then also then the final thing is using their voices so speak to other people about the good stuff they've done and about the, the, the issue itself to, to expand the knowledge so the idea is is then few people tell lots of other people and hopefully between us all we together we'll actually make a difference. Civil engineers have also have always had to do things like environmental impact assessments. So we have that hand in hand. Um, so we, we've always had an amount of knowledge anyway. So although I haven't had an environmental, I don't have an environmental degree, I haven't had any formal environmental training. Myself, like anybody, there's plenty of information out there to find out about the problem and how you can help solve it. You know, you, you celebrate the things that people can do rather than worry about the things that people can't. And uh, whatever people want to do, that's, we talk about how they can apply it into their work. So I've had people that do art projects. Uh, I've got people, it's not just in the UK, it's predominantly in the UK, but somebody uh, in the UAE and also someone in um, Azerbaijan as well are, are, are trained to be primary voice educators. So it's global. So I started it off in COVID, so then a lot of the teachings have been online and this was actually the first school that I'd come into uh, last September or October and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm back here today and I'm really, really pleased because they've, they've remembered some of the things that I spoke to them about before and they're really enthused about making a change. I had lots and lots of take up and uh, today's actually you're seeing there's, there's 10,000 students that are in this room. So that's like a year and a bit. Um, so that's quite, I'm really pleased. It's quite an achievement. And it's not just the 10,000 as well. It's the 10,000 and then who they can speak to as well. So this class, for example, there's going to be some ambassadors that are going to take their learnings and teach other people at the school. So who knows what the, the, the real number is, yeah. Totally. That's that's what keeps me going because I think that all these people here and then they're taking the messages home, that really does give me hope. And some of the things that the students come out with on ideas on what they can do. One of the schools even took what we did and, and ended up doing a um, like a rally in the school playground. You know, I mean, I, I, I attended a virtual Greenpeace rally on, a, on an iPad. I mean, what's not to love? You know, and, the, and at that, it was the whole school that attended outside of the class that I taught. It was the parents and everything. 
everything else. So that gives me hope that more people are aware of the problem and aware that their personal actions can make a difference. Bye.